Well, hey everybody, this is Buddy. I'm going to give you the update with the people that have the possibility of getting hit in the Carolinas. And let's hear what they're saying now about their situation. And uh, we got a lot uh, going on in the tropics right now, obviously with a Category 4 storm, Anthony, and it really impressive looking, that stadium effect going on with the uh, with the eye wall there. You can really see it. It is a powerful, powerful Category, category 4, 4 getting some flare-ups flare at times around the eye wall there. there. Uh, and it continues to move to the west-northwest at about 12 miles an hour. The pressure way down to 948. And, and the, the winds, winds at 140 gusting to 165 going to, to slow down its forward momentum uh, as it loses its steering current and then start that bend to the north. So, so most of the models are suggesting a bend before landfall. It's, it's looking more and more, more probable now. We will not be dealing with a Florida landfall here, but it's, it's going to be very close. Still, still going to get significant impacts along the coast uh, with beach erosion and bands of heavy rain, but likely not going to be a landfall. Not impossible. But, but the, the probabilities, probabilities now are leading towards staying in open waters. If, if that happens, the storm is not going to weaken as much. So the swells are going to be larger. We, we can be dealing with significant seas coming along our coastline. The timing on that likely is going to be on Thursday. We'll be fine-tuning this as we get closer. But I want to say the three possibilities leaning more towards this yellow line where most of the global models have it now. But that's likely going to change because we have to wait until that bend to the north happens. If it's delayed, we could be talking about more of an inland path, which would be the worst case scenario for us. If it turns a little sooner, the best case for everybody, as it's going to be staying well offshore, it's really not causing us much issues at all. But right now, the probability leaning more towards right along our coastline. Okay, like he was saying, it's it's leaning to stay out to sea more than it was the other day. Now I'm going to jump this ahead. This is Saturday at roughly 11 o'clock. I'm going to take it to Sunday at about 10, 11, you know, noon time. And now when I click it, you can see the movement. I'll do it again. That's Sunday, pretty much at one o'clock. And this is Monday at 11 o'clock. That, based on the model that you see here, and then Tuesday we go right along with 12 o'clock again and it's still out to sea now it actually let me slow this down it takes a pretty good jump from tuesday to wednesday it covers some pretty good ground but it's still out to sea key is that it's still out to sea now this is thursday and this is where it has a chance of touching the coast of Carolina and then it goes up the coastline not on the shore it's out to sea still and by Friday it's all the way to Virginia Beach and it's still out to sea and then by Friday evening it's moving out to sea Saturday it is definitely out to sea Sunday it's off the chart okay people I just want to show you that they've got the uh, model change for it staying out to sea what look at this right here where you see my cursor that is that is exactly what we want it and that is exactly what we got to keep focused on in our intentions and our minds with the collective consciousness of the will of the I am, of the resurrected power of the I am, we have moved this storm. So moving storms is very possible in this day and age. But we need to keep the focus on even keeping it away from the Carolinas. And I see it staying out to sea totally. And not even causing hardly no coastal flooding. And I see the wind actually slowing down. So join in with me and seeing this be for what it is a non-event and it just di dissipates and slows down even as it's coming close to land it doesn't hit and that's what we said at the beginning and that's what we see and happen now all right thank you for watching my channel if you like my video subscribe leave a comment i really really appreciate it